good time too. We're back in the shack with Annie today, and we're glad to see you. Gonna have a good time too. Cause we're back at the shack, back at the shack, back at the shack. With you. G'day there, Arnie here again. Uh, great to have you all back at Arnie's shack. Yeah, our topic for today is about feeling. Uh, there are so many feelings that we can have. Uh, how are you feeling at the moment? Uh, I'm feeling happy because I'm really pleased you could be here today at Arnie's shack. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get on with it. assignment for school about feelings. Uh, what are feelings, Grandpa? Hmm, uh, that's a good question, uh, Shane. Uh, feelings are your body's way of giving you a message. Uh, you can feel hot or cold, uh, so you know whether to um, put some clothes on or take some off. Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, uh, you can feel tired, uh, which means you uh, might need some more sleep. Uh, like when I've been to bed too late at night and it's hard for me to get up in the morning? Yeah, that's right, Shane. Uh, you can feel happy or sad, uh, upset or excited. Uh, there are heaps of different feelings that you can have. Uh, so when Kelly says to me that I heard her feelings, uh, what does that mean? Uh, well, I think she means that you have said or done something uh, that has made her feel sad. Uh, I think I get it. So what do you need to do for this assignment? Well, I have to write down at the end of the day all the different feelings that I have noticed and why I think that person is feeling that way. Yeah, sounds very interesting, Shane. Uh, I'll be looking forward to reading it. Uh, good day there, boys and girls, and welcome along to Balloon Kaboom. And I've got my friend with me again, Pastor Darren. How's it going, Pastor Darren? Good, thanks, Arnie. Hi, boys and girls. Yeah, good to have you along again. Um, what are we going to be making today, Pastor Darren? Well, today, I thought I might make an Australian animal. Here we go. So it's a brown animal. So it's a brown animal. That's right. Yeah. So I'm going to start with the head. Here we right. go. So I'll make the face. So once again, we're going to get a head. A cheek. A cheek. A pinch twist ear. Right. 
top of the head. Yeah. Pinch twist ear. Another ear. Other side of the cheek. Right. Right. Put his face on. I don't need that bit. You're going to take that bit off. That's right. Right. So I'm going to give him some eyes. Yeah, put some eyes on it. Mm. What do you think it is, boys and girls? Have you guessed yet? Mm. We had, had some big clues. And his nose. Right, nose. Now, pre made a body. Yeah, pre made it. I'm going to put the head onto the body. Right. So here we go. And there he is. And there he is, boys and girls. Uh, have you guessed what he is? Mm, I, I'm still trying to work it out. Um, can, I, can I guess, Pastor Darren? You can guess, can you guess, boys and girls? Um, I, I, I think it's a potato. A potato? Y yeah, potatoes live in the ground. Do potatoes have eyes? Sometimes. <laughs> they do, that's right. Yeah. Potato's not an animal, is it, boys and girls? So I, I've, got to, I've got to guess again, haven't I? Um, Australian lives in a, in, in a hole in the ground. Oh, I know. What is it, Aunt? Yeah, it's a wombat. It's a wombat. That's right. Yeah. What does it eat, Pastor Darren? It eats lots and lots of roots and leaves and things like that. Uh, that that's interesting. So it's a vegetarian. That's right. Have you ever seen a happy wombat, Arnie, with happy feelings? We can learn from a wombat, Arnie. Uh, what, to be grumpy? No, not to be grumpy. What, not to be? Ah, oh, not to be grumpy. How to uh, control our feelings. Yes, and have good feelings. Mm. Got like to take him and give him to Ranger Hardy? Oh, I'd love to take it and give it to Ranger Hardy. He likes wombats. Oh, I think I'll call this one uh, Wombi. Wombi? Yeah, after a friend of mine. Okay. Anyway, boys and girls, it's time to go now. Um, so from Balloon Kaboom, uh, we'll catch you next time. I'll see you, Pastor Darren. Goodbye, yeah, Arnie. Come on, Wombi, let's go play. Boys cricket. and girls. Hey, it's a good game. <laughs> G'day, my name's Shane. What's your name? I'm Grace. Wow, that's a cool name. Thanks, Shane. Hey, hey, Grace. Yeah? I was wondering if you could help me. Sure, with what? Well, I was just wondering what feelings are. Do you know? Well, feelings are mostly emotions down deep inside you. Like, for example... Yeah? Happy. Happy, I can yeah. be happy. Woohoo! Yeah? And there's excited. Woohoo! Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, that's a bit more than happy. But the downside to that is there's sad. Mm. Mm. Is there any others, Grace? Also, there's embarrassed. Uh oh. I know mm. that one. Yep. And another one is scared. Uh oh. Ooh. I hate being scared. Thanks, Grace. You've really helped me. Well, my favourite feeling is happy, Shane. I like happy too, Grace. We could be happy together. Sure, Shane. Oh, that'd be cool. Thanks for helping me learn about feelings today. You're welcome, Shane. Hi, Shane. My name is Hope. I heard that you needed some help today. Yeah, I hope you can help me today. You see, I'm doing this assignment at school on feelings. Do you know anything about feelings? Yes, Shane. I can show you some feelings. Now, let me think. There's see. And there's also loving. Mm, love to be loved. <laughs> there's also grumpy. Mm, he's grumpy. <laughs> and there's also to be relieved. Oh, I'll be relieved when my assignment's finished. Those are great feelings, Hope. Thanks for helping me today. Hey, good day, Charlotte. Hey, Shane. Hey, what you got there? Oh, this is one of the assignments that our teacher asked us to do in year two. Wow, in year two? Mm-hmm. Cool. So you did an assignment on feelings as well, just like I have to. What feeling is that picture? Oh, that's a happy feeling, Shane. Oh, it is too. I like to be happy. Have you got any more pictures, Charlotte? Yeah, this is a picture of when I was feeling tired. And this one down the bottom here is when I was surprised. <laughs> These pictures are really good, Charlotte. This gives me a really good idea on how to do my assignment. Thanks for helping me today, Charlotte. That's all right. Hi there, Shane. My name's Madison. And I'm wondering if you can help me. Sure, Shane. What do you want me to do? You see, I'm doing this assignment at school on feelings. And, and I was just wondering if you could show me what some feelings look like. Well, there's happy, where you smile and wave. And there's sad, where you droop down and frown. And there's shocked, where something's not right. And frightened, where there's butterflies in your tummy. Well, Madison, that's great. Wait, I tell you what, Madison, you've taught me heaps about feelings. I'll be able to do my assignment really easily now. I'm DJ, he's DJ the postman. Deliver on time all the time, bringing mail to you. G'day.
G'day boys and girls and welcome to Get Active with PJ. I'm here with my personal trainer Steve from Absolute Health and Fitness. Steve's going to show me how to use some gym equipment today. So I've got to sit on this seat here I guess and uh, just take a sit down here and push on the pedals. Steve's adjusting the settings to make it a little bit easier for me. Oh this is feeling better. I can feel it working on my legs already. I'm enjoying working on this machine because it's good to get fit and active. I can feel my legs getting stronger already. Steve's showing me this other machine now. So, so I put my towel down here like this to stop it getting all sweaty. And I sit down here and I push this plate up. Oh, it's not working. Oh, I'm supposed to use my legs. I feel much better knowing that my personal trainer Steve's here to show me how to use all this gym equipment. So you push it up and you let it down. Oh, okay, I get it. And again, this is hard work. And I'll let it back down. Now I'm gonna have a go on the bench press. Always make sure you have a spotter with you when you do this exercise. Steve's holding the bar to make sure I don't drop it on myself. And push it up and up and up and oh, I got it. And now I just have to let it down really slowly. I'm gonna try it on my own now. But Steve's still here to make sure I don't drop it. And down and up and look what Steve's doing now he's sitting on a ball and using the dumbbells now it's my turn oh, these are really heavy but come on PJ you can do it and up one more time and down oh, I'm feeling pretty good now oh, Steve's giving me some lighter ones to try up, down, up, down, up. Oh, these ones are really easy to do. Oh, look at me go. Anyway, boys and girls, thank you for joining me on Get Active with PJ. I'll see you next time. Bye. Whoa! Hi, my name's Janelle, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make rubber glove finger puppets. Ask an adult for a rubber glove and cut off one of its fingers. Next, you draw the faces on the finger puppets. Next, you grow on some hair. Now you can have your own puppet show. Hi, I'm feeling excited. I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling very angry. I'm feeling really sad today. I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling really happy. I'm feeling really excited. You can have your own puppet show too. See you later, everybody. Hi, Matthew. Hi, Shane. What have you got there, Matthew? We have to do drawings on our feelings. Oh, well, what's the feeling of your first drawing? This is a picture of me when I'm feeling happy. Oh, happy. I love to be happy. What else you got there? Uh, I've got a picture of me when I'm feeling surprised. Ooh, surprised? Wow, that's really good. You got another one? And when I'm feeling tired. Oh, oh. Yep. And... When I'm feeling happy. Oh, I like to be happy. And when I'm feeling sad. Oh, sad's not so good. Thanks for bringing them, Matthew. You're welcome, Shane. Hi there. My name's Shane. What's yours? Issy. Issy. Yay. Give me five, Issy. Cool. Hey, can you show me what a happy face is? Yeah? What about a sad face? Mm-hmm. What about an angry face? Whoa, that's angry. Um, what about an excited face? Wow, yeah. Hey, that's cool. Hey, Issy, you know all those faces that you made before? They were all showing feelings. Thanks for helping me today, Issy. 
Hi, my name's Shane. What's your name? David. David. Hey, give me five, David. Yeah. Have you had a good day? Yeah. How are you feeling? Good? Yeah. Fantastic. Now, tell me something, David. How do you be happy? Oh, you give a big smile, do you? Yeah, what about when you're sad? Oh, that's pretty sad. Can you think of another feeling? Yep. Oh, what would that be? Um, hungry. Hungry? Are you hungry now? What would you like to eat? Banana. Banana. Whoa, that'd be really nice. Hey, thanks for helping me today, David. But we've got to go now. So wave goodbye. Say Bye. goodbye. Bye. Bye. Good afternoon, boys and girls. My name is Professor Ayar Vargas, and today I will be showing you something amazing. We are going to be doing one of my favorite experiments. Hans and I have constructed a little model of a volcano using an empty bottle, six cups of flour, two cups of salt, four tablespoons of cooking oil, and three cups of water. We also added some green food dye to make the mountain look green. Now Hans, let's get on with our experiment. I need some detergent and some vinegar. Yes, yes, very good, Hans. Now I need two tablespoons of baking powder. Oh, no, 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 not a little flour, some baking powder. Thank you, Hans. Now, Hans, I need you to get some warm water and fill the bottle inside the volcano almost to the top. Very good, Hans. Now I need you to put some red food dye in the bottle. Yes, yes, very good, Hans. Now can you please squeeze six drops of detergent into the bottle? Yes, that's right, Hans. Now please add two tablespoons of baking powder. Oh, thank you, Hans. Now comes the best part of the experiment. This is where we get the volcano to work. Hans, can you please pour some vinegar into the volcano? Look at that! There is red lava pouring out of the volcano. The volcano is erupting! Amazing! You know, boys and girls, this volcano reminds me of our feelings. Sometimes people get so full of anger that they blow up just like this volcano. This is not very good for them or the people around them. A much better idea is to be so full of love and happiness that this is what pours out of us and helps all those around us to be happy too. Thank you for watching, boys and girls. I am Professor I. R. Weiss, and I will see you next time. Now, Hans, can you please clean all this mess up? Oh, no, 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 Hans, not smash it with a cup! Hi there, everyone. Ranger Hardy here again. I have another sensational Australian animal to show you today. This creature is the size of a pig and very solidly built. It is a wombat. Wombats are approximately one metre in length. The wombat lives in a burrow in bushland areas of southeastern Australia and Tasmania. They have rodent-like teeth, very strong claws and muscular thick legs to help them dig. The wombat has no natural enemies and can even survive smaller bushfires in their underground burrow. The wombat eats roots, shoots and leaves. They emerge in the late afternoon for scavenging in the evening and throughout the night. During the day, they go back to their burrows to sleep. What a life! Wombats generally move slowly but can reach speeds of up to 40 kilometres an hour if threatened. The wombat is another one of the sensational creatures God has created. Watch out for one if you happen to be in the Australian bush. Anyway, got to get on with that tight schedule again. So from Ranger Hardy, I'll catch you next time. Sensational! I'm finished my assignment, Grandpa. Uh, would you like to see it? Yeah, sure would, Shane. Uh, let's have a look. Hmm. 
Uh, Shane showed me his assignment. Uh, his first observation was of Kelly. Now she was feeling happy because she was going to play at her friend Shelley's place. Uh, next he noticed Ben. Uh, ben was feeling worried because he hadn't started his assignment yet. PJ was feeling excited because he had been invited to a mail delivering conference. Uh, his dad was feeling tired because he had been working all day. Uh, Grandma was feeling cold uh, because she forgot to take her jacket uh, when she went out. Uh, that's right, uh, Doreen did say she had been feeling cold uh, when she went out. Uh, Shelley was feeling sad uh, she'd lost her lunch money. Uh, Professor I.R. Wise uh, was feeling mad uh, because Hans put his lunch in the experiment. Uh, poor Professor. Uh, that's great, Shane. Uh, I really think you've got the idea about feelings. Uh, I feel very proud of you and your effort, Shane. Oh, thanks, Grandpa. Oh, I'm feeling relieved that this assignment is finished. Behind every angry word is someone who is hurting. Behind every frown, someone who needs your love today. Lord, help me to see. feeling now boys and girls. Uh, there were so many different feelings that Shane discovered when he did his assignment. Uh, there is a verse in the Bible which gives us some good advice if we can see that someone is feeling upset. Uh, Proverbs 15 1 says, a gentle answer deflects anger, uh, but harsh words make tempers flare. Uh, maybe you could have a look around during your day and see what feelings you can notice. Uh, did you know that you can make a difference to how other people are feeling? Uh, I have a little experiment you could try. Uh, every time you see someone today, uh, give them a smile and see if you can get them to smile back. Uh, smiling is actually contagious. Uh, you know, uh, you can help spread the feeling of happiness uh, by being happy yourself. Uh, a smile is a good way to start. 
Happiness is a great feeling to have and to share. Uh, in the Bible, in Proverbs 17, uh, 22, it says, A cheerful heart is good medicine, uh, but a broken spirit saps a person's strength. Uh, anyway, boys and girls, it's time to go now. Uh, I'm feeling a bit tired, uh, so I think I'll have a little rest now. Uh, I'll catch up with you next time. Uh, see ya. Shack uh, next time. Uh, catch you later. Uh, God bless.